Mombasa ni moja wapo ya, ya wale counties ama counties ambazo ziliweko on alert kwa sababu tuko na port, tuko na airport, tuko na buses ambazo zinakuja. Kwa hivyo tulikutana jana kama stakeholders tukae chini tuweke what we call contingency plan ya kuhakikisha kuwa tukipata kesi yoyote ya, ya Ebola ama any suspected case tuna respond na tuna isolate. Kwa hivyo tulikaa jana tuka develop a plan on communication tuka develop a plan on a response wakati kesi imekuwa suspected for either from the community ama airport ama port ama from any other place ni nani anapigiwa simu na ni timu gani leo hii kuna timu ya kwanza tunaita team A ambao wanafanyiwa training on how to respond and how to collect sample tunajua Ebola ni tofauti na covid they are highly contagious yes but Ebola is more contagious kwa hivyo ni muhimu sana tuhakikishe kuwa kuna zile protectives ambazo tuko nazo tunashukuru ebu wakati covid ilikuja tulipata kununua nyingi so tume distribute kwa sub counties tuna train um, the health workers jinsi wanavyofaa kuvaa na kutoa zile um, zile protective gears na tume isolate tume identify this facility as uh, mahali ambapo tukipata case tunatoa mgonjwa from the place tunakuja tuna isolate manake kwa, kwa, kwa sababu hatu uh, ile the reason why hatuwezi tumia cost general ni kwa sababu ina wards mingi na ina watu wengi sana wanaingia pale kwa hivyo tukipeleka mgonjwa pale cost general tuna chanzo nyingi sana ya ku expose more people that's why tumetafuta facility ambayo iko na perimeter wall ambayo iko isolated it's not very near hakuna uh, watu wengi sana traffic kubwa ambayo inaweza kuja na hii facility wewe inatusaidia hata wakati tuko na outbreak ya cholera um, tunaitumia kama uh, the facility for isolation task force ambayo tuko nao hapa subcommittee ya health ambayo iliwekwa na uh, his excellency the governor uh, one of the recommendations tunataka kukuja nayo ni county kukuwa na a set aside uh, isolation facility itatusaidia kwa management ya uh, multi drug resistant tuberculosis ambazo tuko nazo kwa county wala ambao wanahitaji kulazwa hospitalini itatusaidia wakati tuko na outbreak ya uh, cholera na itatusaidia pia wakati tuko na magonjwa kama haya sasa ya Ebola na menginezo such that tu, uh, tuna, tu, tuache ile kwa interrupt services ile tunafunga facility to respond to an emergency uh, ama sisi ambao tunaambia wakazi ni kuwa tuli through our communication team tuko na zile materials ambazo tunaenda kushare through our communication office kuambia zile ni nini dalili za Ebola ukisuspect wa kawaida watu wana panic unapata saa zingine kuna false alarm lakini tunaenda kushare zile signs and symptoms sana sana kwa wale ambao wamesafiri manake tunapata kujua kuwa kuna wale pengine wanapitia panya rutu wakikuja Uh, tuko karibu na Tanzania, Tanzania iko karibu na Uganda. Kuna wale wanazunguka wanapitia kule lakini our port health is higher alert. Sasa wakati tukisha tusha share before the end of today tunaenda kushare na wakazi wetu wa Mombasa. Tuambie hizi ndio dalili za suspected Ebola cases ukipata piga simu kwa hii namba na our team will respond. Na tunawaomba tena tunawasihi. Ukiwa identified as a suspected case usikimbie usitoroke. Manake wakati una umekuwa exposed na unaendelea kutembea Una, unazidi ku expose more people na Ebola fatality rate yake iko juu kushinda uh, COVID-19. Uh, tukipata kama sasa hiyo alert ya Mumias kuna ile wana developer list ya wale ambao walikuwa karibu na huyo suspected case na wana communicate kwa Mombasa. Kama kuna any person ambao walikuwa kwa hiyo uh, basi ama alikuwa na usafiri na wala na amefika huko Mombasa we treat that as a contact alafu na kwa isolated so there's a lot of communication between the border counties na county ya Mombasa that's why waleka Mombasa manake kuna trucks ukiangalia hapa nje unaona trucks zinapita mingi so there's a lot of screening going on na kama kuna any suspected case along the border wana deliver a list of contacts they communicate to us just like we did covid we want to make sure that we don't leave any 